Welcome to another edition of the Comic Book Blog. I'm your host, Jim Houston. Today I'm going to show you how I pack up two CGC graded comics that I need to mail to a collector who lives in Canada but uses a service close to Canada where they get all his United States comp collectibles in and then they send them to him and he doesn't have to pay taxes. I guess the customs import taxes. So it's Batman 31. It's graded 4.5 and it has white pages. And this is a Batman 80 3.0 cream to off white pages. They both have the plastic bags over them. What I usually do is I use the padded envelopes that I got from stamps.com. They're um, free, so I just use them. And it's similar to having the bubble wrap because it's already padded. And one bag will not cover the whole slab. So I use two bags. And I don't take the plastic off that would make it get stuck to the label. So I just do that on the second bag. So now this is double bagged and padded. So on the second bag, I'll take off the the uh, adhesive cover, and then I just cover it up. So now it's sitting in here, and it's in already in bubble wrap. I still have bubble wrap here that I could wrap around it. This is a smaller priority mailbox. So I'm going to open this up and again the uh, graded comic is a little taller than the box. So I, I wrap the box in bubble wrap too before I put it in another box. So I'm putting double box and I usually write on my eBay description on how I ship that it would be covered in bubble wrap and surrounded by cardboard. So that's the start. Now it shakes too much, but with the two issues in here and the bubble wrap I'm going to put around it, it will not move inside the smaller box. The one bag, and we'll do the second bag. Connect the two bags together. So now it's kind of snug, but I still like to put bubble wrap around it. So. We're going to put some bubble wrap around this. Actually, I'm going to go top to bottom because the top sticks out. And we don't want the comics to get hurt. So that's kind of good enough because the top is definitely going to stick out. I haven't been really taping the bags together. They kind of stay in the box just fine. So now it's in there really good. I could close this up as best I can. Okay. <laughs> 
This always happens. It takes me two times to get the adhesive cover off every time. All right. So push this down a little, close it in. Square it off pretty nice. Now I use a priority mail flat rate box. And since it's going to the United States, it will probably cost around $13.50. And then I always put the insurance on it. I use stamps.com. I've been reading that it's really hard to get your money back when you insure a package through the United States Post Office. So stamps.com actually sent me all these supplies you're seeing for free. Now, there is a fee involved to use stamps.com, so you're not really saving money by not, say, using the eBay choice for shipping, which is the United States Post Office. So this fits just about perfect, but you can see it's moving around. So I'm going to put more bubble wrap around it. Um, I think I'm going to put across the top because we don't want the top to get hurt. And then the rest I'll just keep wrapping around the sides. This is so the slab doesn't get cracked. So All right. Now I'm going to do it around the sides just because there's a lot of space inside this box. And this is just to stop the books from moving around. This bubble wrap came from another shipper. So I didn't go out and buy bubble wrap. I just keep all the bubble wrap that I get as I buy comics from other dealers and I just reuse it. Let's see. I'll try to use all this bubble wrap and see if I could get it in the box. If I can't, I'll just unwrap a couple of rows and do it that way. You can see I kind of went diagonal. So I'll have a little bit extra on the top and the bottom to keep them secure. Yep, it's fit there nice and snug. So that's not moving. It's not much bigger than the top of the box, so I can easily close this. take off the adhesive. Takes me two times to get it. So that's how I pack my comics. You can see there's a space here. I'm going to put tape across the top and the bottom and at every seam. And then I print the label from stamps.com and I tape that here. It has tracking. I kind of check every day to see where the book is, but it's peace of mind. And I tell the buyer when the book has arrived. All right, so this has been another edition of the Comic Book Blog. I'm your host, Jim Houston. See you again.